a bitch. Um, the the Streamlabs had defaulted to a default thing and not my microphone. I've been talking for the past 20 minutes. 15 minutes out of 20 minutes. And I hadn't noticed. Sorry if I sound angry or loud at that, because gen that was generally like me being a little bit upset. Uh, where did I put that piece? Hold on. Okay. How's it going, Marvin? <laughs> And right in the place. Uh, nice to hear you too, sir. Thanks. Well, okay, so let's reiterate. Uh, we're back to building the MGEX Strike Freedom, and we're giving him. I literally, I literally came up with a good joke, and I have to retell it now, and it has no value now. I literally said it's like we have to put pants on this guy because he's basically sitting here in his solid gold long johns. God damn it, waste of a Damn it, Streamlabs! <laughs> I should come in earlier in the stream next time? I guess. That's up to you. I'm not But f I'm just angry that I had such some good shit to talk about and I did. And it, it's fucking wasted. <laughs> ah! Fuck. But thank you, Marvin. I appreciate that. Hold on one sec. Oh, wait, no. I got tissues. I don't need to go get a thing. Uh, I'm gonna mute so I can blow my nose. So you don't have to hear this. There we go. Better. Ugh. Man, I, I had some really- I had talked about some really nice stuff, and now it's gone. <laughs> it's wasted. <laughs> ah, my arms hurt. I started working- I started working out again this week because I said- I promised my cousin in Florida that I would because she's always been like that. Um, and now, so I'm starting to work out again, and my arms are just like, <gasps> ah! <laughs> my legs hurt too, but less than my arms. Freaking biceps hurt. How are you doing, Marvin, by the way? How was your day? How was the start to your weekend? I know it's wonderful now that you're here and you've helped me out. Can I, like, scooch closer so I'm not having to, like, look down at the whatchamacallit every time? Oh, oh, camera, like, fell backward. Okay. Um... Uh, one, two, buckle my shoe, and I need what, J? J is light gray, it said. There we go. Okay. Uh, five and six. Are these under gates? Yep, there we go. Mm -mm. Not that I know. Are you trying to get buff or just lose weight? Uh, a little bit of both. Definitely to lose weight. Um, but I do... I, I, I don't really have, like, leg problems. I do have a shoulder... I know at least a shoulder problem. Left shoulder problem, technically. Uh, and a lower... And, like, a back problem. And a rib problem. But I, I, I want to get into, like, literal... Not better shape, like, muscles. Like, you know, be ripped and all that. But better as in, like, you know... Ath I guess, like, kind of just athletically? Question mark? I am, I am technically what you would call overweight, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna hide that. Hold on. If it's sitting on straight, there we go. The box is like sitting a little bit like on the diagonal and I was like, I don't like how that's precariously perched. Okay. Yeah, 
Zelda music. Yeah, pretty. No, this is Kirby music. Sorry, that's the Fountain of Dreams. Or no, Gourmet Race. Pretty sure. Same here. We'll start my getting fit resolution soon. Yeah. I on on well, I did like home workouts, so there's like arms and stuff and legs, and they had more. They had some like core and like cardio to them, but after doing like the main exercise, I was like, sorry guys, I can't do I can't do the rest of that. I did as much as I could. Same here. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. Like, um, I think it was in the beginning of 2019. I decided I started needing to go to gym. So I got a gym membership. And I was going. Like, regularly. Even when work started to get a bit meh. Uh, like, I still tried for at least a couple times a day. I mean, a couple times a week. Sorry, not a couple times a day. That'd be stupid. Uh... And I think it was in the beginning of 2020, I signed up for like the, you know how like gyms have a, you know, get, get a better look in 20, in the beginning of 2020 thing. I signed up for that with my gym and I did it as best as I could. I only lost like, a, I think a total of like five pounds, but, um, it wasn't, like I said, it was in the beginning of 2020 and it was supposed to be like a three, a two to three month thing. Stu stupid. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Um, but I liked it because it like gave me like a sort of like thing to measure But it's like I could tell I was getting you know, I was more fit. I was stronger. I had more energy and stuff But um, then like 2020 happened Then the rest of 2020 happened So yeah bum, bum, ba -da -da -da. There we go. I really like the like the line separation of these. It looks so good. Yeah, then 2021 went like a blur. Yeah. Well, I was still doing my workouts up for a most part of 20, 2020. I still kept it going. I even got back into the gym when they, you know, established like pandemic protocols and all that shit. Um and then in 2021, uh, I was still going, well, no, I hurt myself in the beginning of, I think, 2021. So I had to stop for a bit because of my ribs. And then I kept going. And then um, I stopped for a while. I stopped for like six months when my stepbrother passed and left a few too many pounds. Same situation. Yeah. Um, then my stepbrother passed. And it really was like a sort of like just a mental blow. And I just didn't want to go to the gym anymore for a while. So I didn't go for six months. And then I started getting back into it. And then we pop into February, literally a year ago, almost literally a year ago. And my stepdad passes. And it was just like a, like a freaking shell shock. It's like, I was like, so I stopped again. And so I started going again, but then the problem with my ribs crept up again and I stopped. And I, it was just like a uh, kind of thing. And then my work was like, I didn't really have time to keep doing it and stream and go to the gym. So I was like, I just, yeah. So I dropped it for a bit. Yeah. Don't, uh, it's okay. It's a story I've told, it's a story I've told multiple times on the stream. Um, yeah, so just that and that.
Oh, first time hearing everything? Yeah, I know what happened. So I don't mean to do it a lot, but it's just like... It's just a story of how shit went. I know my mom, right? I, I mean, mech mama. Uh, she, I know she's gonna be... Going a little bit weird these next couple of days. Because like I said, it's been... It's been a year. And my, my mom will tell you, like the past... The past couple of years for her, from 2021 onward, have not been great. <laughs> have not been great. Just because of situation, just because of all the shit that happened. Anniversary, yeah, yeah. You know what? Hold on. I got a question. Since I got somebody to uh, to legitimately, hold on. I gotta make sure she's not in the thing. Okay, good. Um, she's not here at the moment. Um, any other mech siblings? Yes, I have a half sister from my dad's from mech dad's first uh marriage, and Mexis, who lives halfway across the country. I'm not gonna say where. Uh, E124. That was the other. Undergates? Yep. Um, hey, Jay, how's it going, man? Welcome to putting pants on the MGEX Strike Freedom. And it's like, we got, fa we got family and cousins all over the place where I am, so... You know, we're never too far from family. Hey, uh, so you won't put pants on, but you'll dress your... <laughs> I am wearing shorts, thank you very much. Very efficiently designed mech shorts. Because sometimes it gets hot in here. <laughs> Pressing X to die. I am not showing you my pants. You'll just have to believe. <laughs> This goes on the back, I believe, like so. Yeah, everybody missed it because, unfortunately, Streamlabs had my audio from my mic defaulted, so it didn't even pick it up. I said in the beginning of stream, it's like, yeah, so we gotta put on some pants because he's just sitting here in his solid gold uh, long johns. BRB, though, gotta do something quick to back to watching. No problem, man. Nice, thanks for the box. Okay, so I need to ask a question. Uh, this is J2. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. 9 and 10. It is these. Um, I need to ask a question. So, as we know, I am, as we all know, I am basically involved with Ari. Um, and it is Valentine's Day coming up. And she's still not in the chat, right? She's not in the chat. Um, so... I know what I want to get her as a present, but I don't know how to go about getting it for her. Don't tell her anything. So I, I, I need an idea of what would technically be the more thoughtful way of doing this. She... I know she wants the Sylveon plush from Build-A-Bear, and I want to get it for her. But here's the thing. how, Which way do I do it? Do I get it where I can get it and then ship it to her? Or do I give her the ability to go get it? Do I give her, like, the gift cards to go get it? I feel like getting it myself and shipping it to her is, like, the more thoughtful thing, because I feel like, you know, just giving somebody, you know, like, the gift cards and be like, here, you can go get this for yourself is a little bit, eh? Is that anybody... I know this is complicated, but does anybody have a suggestion? Just ask Haro to deliver it for you? Yeah, I wish. Speaking of Haro, actually, I actually had an idea. You know how a lot of, like, VTubers and other streamers have, like, little, like, TTS minions that, um... That like that you guys can use channel points for. I I want to get one of those, 
but I don't know, like, I don't know what it would be exactly if, like, like I should use Haro, or if that's too on the nose. Or if I want to use something else. Option one is fine, just make sure you got the details for the gift. Okay, okay. I feel- I- I- I felt like, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna need to ask her where I can send it then. No, please, she won't kill me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so how do these... This? Hold on. Ah, okay. Like so. Alright, uh, he's 30 and 31. Do something with these? Da, da, da. Huh? Yeah, that's the tricky part, yeah. Uh, okay, so these here. Sorry, I was just looking at the thing because it's like making it's like do this. Oh, I think it's saying ah. That's what it's saying, dude. It's saying to pull these little bits out so you get the piece in and slide them back. Gotcha. Okay. Hold on, I'm on that shit. Well, I forget when the ads would show up. Is it really every 30 minutes? I could just wonder if it's like supposed to be every how long is something. I don't know. I'm not good with ads. there. That's one. Okay, back. Power seems cool, or a pet, or Pokemon. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I honestly don't know, like, what our... I never came up with, like, a mascot for us. I know, there's a lot I need to do because we've literally got 24 days, just over three weeks until the second, an or until my second anniversary. So I've actually got a lot of shit to do. In the couple coming weeks, there may be a couple less streams just so I can focus on working on some shit. Because there, there is some stuff I want to do for the second anniversary. Because it is right now, the second anniversary is on, it's on a Monday, unfortunately. So maybe we'll celebrate it on like the, a Sunday or a Saturday. 
or have like a bigger stream on like a Sunday or a Saturday and then or I don't honestly I don't know. It also depends on like several things. Like if I get a new job or not. So. Wait, is it saying how long was this supposed to go on? So likes. Okay. Honestly, that was just weird. Oh, it's because it's got to slide in. Un There's a part that's got to slide in, like under here. Got it. All right, so that's all the waste for now. So he's basically got like a loincloth. Oops. All right, now we start on leg armor. Okay, chest, I gotta move you like out of the way. You go sit on the backpack. Don't move. Oh, I'm gonna put you like a little bit out of the way. Oh, it says to disconnect his feet. God, the joint, the freaking pegs that these things go in are like really good, well, tight. Guys, look, I'm showing feet. Eh? Eh? Nah. <laughs> Alright, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, we're back. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong thing. Hey, 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 Sans. Here's a cool trick you didn't know. You could tell the sex of an ant just by using a standard cup of water from their house. Huh? I'll wait for the rest of that. Okay, now, uh, leg armor. So let's get the feet out of the way. Uh, okay, so that, 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 okay, so back to E1. Okay, so E130, so that means it's doing right leg and then left leg, but I think I could just replicate what I've normally done. And just, uh, oh my god, this has, like, super tiny sticker shit. That's gotta be fun as shit. But, um, to if it floats, it's a boy. I hate you. And everything you stand for! A curse upon your house! <laughs> it 
May your name be synonymous with hatred and despair. <laughs> also, it took a month or so, but guess what finally arrived after being waitlisted? What did? Also, hey, Jack. <laughs> You're back. Uh, how are you just saying anything? Oh, you got your, you got your high grade? Nice. I know, I know Andrew is still, he's got a pre-order for the, the full mechanics, the 1 100th. I'm thinking about getting that, but I'm kind of tapped out. Well, I want to get it, but I'm tapped out a little bit ever since I bought the, uh, oh, hold on, J Jay, I don't think I, I don't know if I told you I got this. Or at least I didn't show it to you. Hold on, let me clear a little bit out of the way. So I don't mess up anything. This is going to be a bit in camera, so. Look what I found in Florida. Uh, eh, eh, eh. I, I, I've li literally, I, we were, we were in a Florida mall. And I had, I had, they didn't even have a GameStop. They had a bookstore, which was nice, but no gunplay in there. Um, and I went and we were just walking out one way we hadn't come before. And I just stopped. I stopped because I saw it's some Gundam stuff in a window. And it's like, okay. It was like, it, they were like the universe figures. But um, I went and I checked it out. And they had some models at the back wall. So I went to the back wall. I said hi to the guy that was there. It wasn't like a main mainstream hobby store. It was just a little hobby store in a mall. Uh, $92. <laughs> um... But yeah, and then it's like, I was looking, and there was all stuff I had seen, nothing that was impressive, and then BAM! I just noticed the fucking, like, the, 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 this part. It's like, well, hold on, where, the, yeah, I just, like, noticed this side of it. You can't, it's, yes, it's upside down. It took me a minute to read, but I went, shit! And I just grabbed it. Yes, I know it's over what it should cost, but availability, look. Finding one of these in the wild trumps price sometimes. It's like if you go to a Best Buy and you see like a 30 series card. It's like you, you, you kind of gotta. After shipping from new type, it's practically the same price anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, little box damage. But that's that's because I had to fit it. I didn't take, I don't take suitcases when I'm traveling on plane. When I'm traveling on planes, I literally have a duffel bag. And I managed to fit this in the bottom of the duffel bag. I had to reorganize my whole thing. Hold on. Woof. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I think the next... But uh, speaking of, like, shipping and ordering and gunplay and stuff, I think the next model I'm going to order... At least, uh, I'm gonna make sure I can get a pre-order on it. Is the Verka Zeta that's supposed to be coming out in, like, like what? Two months? I was gonna buy Gunpla at MAGFest, but I wasn't bringing home a 3D printer and four spools of plow along my clothes and can't- Jesus, man. Did you drive to MAGFest? Can I at least ask, how was the selection of Gunpla at MAGFest? I didn't get the ender again on this part. Nope, Amtrak? How'd you get all that on Amtrak? Did... did like sit like no seriously like I am I've never traveled by train like that. I can just like take a train into New York City, but it's like I've never done train like that. It was man, I'll have better luck at Katsu in a couple weeks. Plus one of my buddies is letting me build all his kits. He's got like 40, 50 of them. Jesus. here i 
Actually, I should have taken a look at the other one to make sure there's the... Yeah. <laughs> More content for my Gundam streams? Yeah. I've got, like, 20-something right now. Because I've got almost all the Breaker Battle Log kits. The, the, yeah, I've got all those high-grade kits. Um, after this model, job interview done... Like, good job hey kirk how's it going congratulations i haven't had a job interview in forever i also haven't had any applications um me me and my friend are actually trying to see if we could possibly go into business with one another uh through a company he wants his own game store and there's a th there's another sort of place that's doing like franchising opportunities so we're looking into that So that's where my job is. At, that's where my job stuff is at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had. I'm glad you liked the interview, man. I never heard back from the one job I had that was with like the, that was with like the one of the counties I'm nearby. They never called back. They said they would. I sent them a follow up e e email. Nothing. I don't blame them fully though. They seem busy enough. Not like busy busy, but busy enough. I just found I actually found out recently that I'm getting like two weeks I got I pretty much have gotten two weeks of severance from my old job though. Okay, so get these go like so over these. What do I need? Uh, 42, 43 off of both. Okay. These are under gates. I forgot. Most of the white parts are under gate, which I love and hate because it stops really any scuff or scratch marks from filing on the, the showing sides. But at the same time, I'm like, God damn it. Because sanding them and making sure you get all the little bitty parts is a pain in the ass. I just, FYI, you're running OBS 29 plus or Streamlabs. Adam has a vertical plugin that'll let you record and even clip last, the last minute or so of your content for TikTok. IG Reels, Facebook Stories, YouTube Shorts. It's only like two clicks set up. Hmm. I'll, I'll look into that because literally I've just been clipping most of my stuff myself and using a uh, join combo to upload all my clips uh, for like YouTube and YouTube Shorts. Speaking of which, Kurt, because now that, but hoping I get this one because it's close to me. Uh, yeah, I haven't, you haven't heard back from many places you applied to. Dude, that's so same. Yeah, it's like I apply to like a bajillion places. Don't hear shit. And I hate it. Um, I need this one. And I'll let you stream directly to a platform of your choice at the same time as Twitch. Well, I don't think I don't think we're technically allowed to do that as affiliates, right? You're not allowed to duo stream. Honestly, I've never decided if I was gonna start streaming on YouTube or not. I mean, my channel doesn't have much like audience anyway, so I have like literally like barely any subscribers. Twitch actually only pays attention to partners when it comes to that stuff now. Ah, oh. hmm. Good to know. Can you send me it? Can you DM me a link on Discord for that? If you got it still. Okay, hold on. Okay, now we gotta get serious because unfortunately, it's time for everybody's favorite thing, tiny ass stickers. Oh God, these things are so, look how small, I have to, it's gotta be, hold on. Where's my little buffing rag? There we go. Look how shiny they are now. Shing, 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 shing. Yeah, stickers. Um, but I that that brings me to what I wanted to talk about because I remember Kirk, you this was like a Twitter thing, uh, we that happened like last night, with like you, me, and 
Well, Perry put it out, and then I think you and me commented on it. Well, the new ones are at least better quality. Yeah. Unfortunately, the ones I have to work with right now are these. Look how tiny these are. Look how tiny these are. And they have to fit. Focus. There. So this is going to be a couple minutes of freaking frustration. Lol, tweezers are your friend, the L-shaped ones are best. I have those. The problem is getting stickers out of the thing with these things is hard. Something about shorts? Yeah. I posted a short from one of my dip from like this one of the uh, one of these weeks um elden ring streams and i leave it for a couple of hours and i come back literally within the span of like maybe a D, &D stream so three hours and it's got 300 fucking views and i'm like the fuck youtube how does this work i was like what the shit I put up a short, no views. Maybe, like, four views. Don't do it for a while. Put one up. 100, 300 fucking views. I'd imagine, like, TikTok. I guess. But my TikToks are all semi-consistent. My shorts aren't. Did you post at the same time as the other? Yes. Why? Is there... What? Yes, I did. Why? Just don't poke yourself and bleed. I already did that on this model. That happened like a month ago. I, I literally like myself. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, that's one. Posting vids around lunch is a good time. I did it around like eight o'clock. Or when people are going to bed, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just, it's like a, it's like freaking Russian roulette. You never know exactly what you're going to get. You're either getting a bullet or not. But the good news is I have clips and shit to put to TikTok and uh, YouTube pretty much for the next, like, week week and a half if i do like one a day it's the one that yeah, it is. okay those are in Sorry if you can't. If this part's a little bit boring, I'm just fucking concentrating so we can get this done. Where'd it go? It's on my fucking finger. God damn it. Where's. I just post on the days I don't stream. I try and do like one. I try and do like one a day. I've I always, well, back when I was at my old job, I didn't post on the days I wasn't working, and I usually just post on the days I was working. I do like usually on like a morning break or something, uh, like around like eight o'clock in the morning, and then like by lunchtime I see how it'd be doing, and then sometimes it's like I wait till the end of the day and see if it got any better. Son of a bitch, it's on my, it's got my goddamn finger again.
three. And the problem is, is I have, I, there's 12 of these and I'm only using eight. So where do the other fucking four go? Also, I still have other stickers that I don't know if I haven't used or just didn't use. Uh, content is weird, man. Content is weird. There we go. All right. We're done with those for now. For now. I wonder where the other fucking four are going. I, have an, I think I have an idea where they might be, but I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Now let's get the, some filing done so we can get some of the edges off. Oh, Kirk, speaking of, by the way, I just thought of this. I may be starting my own giant JRPG playthrough soon. Not of, not of, uh, not of Xenoblade, though. Because, like, there's, there's a rumor, a four, well, there's a 4chan leak going around that next week, Square Enix is going to announce a Final Fantasy IX remake. And if that happens, if that happens, I said I would stream Final Fantasy IX. So... There's a possibility that we may be playing Final Fantasy IX here on the channel. That may be my first giant JRPG playthrough. I want to say giant. I mean one that I can't beat in a couple streams. That'll take like a while. That I will focus all my energy upon. I mean, to be fair, the leak also says they're announcing like a bunch of stuff. Like, hold on, um... Hold on, let's see if I can find the, the thing I had open. Found it. Speaking of which! Okay, so... Because it's February 7th marks the 35th anniversary of Final Fantasy as a franchise. Um, so let's see. History presentation. Uh, a Final Fantasy 1 pixel remaster. Uh, or something. I think they already did that. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. I think that's out already. Uh, and then it's supposed to be, yeah, like Hironobu Sakaguchi announces... Hold on. This, why is this thing facing down? Face up. I like it when you're face up. Um... Hironobu Sakaguchi will announce the 9 remake. Uh, World of Final Fantasy 2. That, that's why this whole list is a bit eh, but still, it's like part. Some of it's plausible. Um, stories from Ivalis, War of the Lions, which is a tactics thing. Uh, Final Fantasy X3, so 10 3. Uh, 7 Rebirth, um, which is, you know, it's coming out, I think, like in winter of this year. Which, you know, everybody's gonna fucking play. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. No, that's 16. Sorry. I forgot where it's 16. Yeah, a, a, a 16 announcement, because that's close to release. Close enough. Um, possibly something about reworking or re or something about Final Fantasy 11. Uh, let's see. Yeah, then we have Mobile, the Ever Crisis, uh, closed beta test. Dissidia, a, a mobile Dissidia game, Brave XVS, which is still going, weirdly enough. And yeah, and then it's like there's just a bunch of uh, other shit. So, like, not all of it looks like it could be true, but it still, like, looks plausible enough to be like, ooh, Final Fantasy fans could be eating good this year. I mean, we already are with 16 and 7, re um, seven Rebirth supposed to come out, but like, hot damn. Need to get this... Yes, you do. It is really... It is fun. I only played it ever on the PS4. I want to play it on PC just for, like, some of, like, the stuff. 
that and I never played the uh the 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 the, the expansion for Integrate with Yuffie. So I still need to experience that. I do need to experience that. <laughs> oh, sorry, not a camera. I actually, I've, and I also need to play actual seven at some point because I never actually beat seven or played a lot of it. I remember playing it on an emulator during college, during a cl during class when I was supposed to be doing actual work. Oh. During, like, my first year of college. My first year of college was weird. I didn't do great. Oh, Mac Mama's home. I heard the door close. So. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna go say hi. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. I had a chance to play the original on PS1, but it belonged to my uncle and took it back home when I didn't visit. This is gonna sound stupid to me. Uh, I had a chance to play Seven way back, um, but I, my friend actually introduced me to. Hold on, I gotta make sure I'm putting these on right. So hold on, let's go like. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there's that. Um, I, I had a chance to play 7, like, back in the day, because I could have gotten it, but my friend introduced me to Final Fantasy VIII first. And, uh, I'm sorry, but Gunblade I thought was cooler than Buster Sword. It was a gun and a sword. Don't blame me. Also, I thought Final Fantasy VII was a little bit weird, but I it was back in the day where I still didn't know a lot of stuff about video games, but Final Fantasy VIII looked better than VII, so I committed to, <laughs> I committed to that. I know it sounds stupid nowadays, but yeah. So he's got the thighs are on, thigh, thigh warmers. Did he get anything in the back? No, I think that's it. Uh, all those stickers are on. Get this out of the way. His feet. All right, so now we're going for the back. Uh, so we're looking for 48. Uh, son of a bitch. All the tools getting in the way. I'm not using the god hands because I don't really require them for this. Since a lot of undergating means I don't have to, like, shave things off. I feel like I know this song, but I can't place it. Ba -da -ba. 
Ba -ba -ba -ba. And then, uh, also, I never actually finished 8, because, like, my friend knew more than I did, but I, I just never committed to it. But then 9 came out. And I jumped headlong into 9. I even had, like, the Prima strategy guide back when they were trying to, like, do, like, the online servers. Like, go online to get the real secrets. God, remember those kind of strategy guides? <laughs> I made the friends I did back in middle school because I got had I had the guide to get to to the Reggies in Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> yeah. What year that came out? Uh, where would I have been in school? Hold on. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire came out in 2002. So that would have been sixth? Sixth grade for me? Well, no, seventh. Or sixth into seventh. No, November 2002. Okay. So, hold on. Um, ba 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 ba. Kindergarten, 90, like, 5, 96, first, second, third. I was in, hold on, because I was in fifth grade in 2001. Yeah, so sixth grade, sorry. Yeah, trying to do the math here. Um. Little heels. Achilles tendon protectors, I guess. Uh, J125. Has one undergate. Tw 2002. November 21st, 2002 is when that... So Emerald came out later, yeah. Honestly, when it came to, like, school, well, it's because I went to one school for, like, literally kindergarten, no, no, yeah, kindergarten through fourth grade, and then that's when I got diagnosed with ADHD, and the one school wasn't doing anything, plus I was, like, bullied there, so mom put me in the public school thinking they would help more. It didn't really do it. I, I just, that was the part where I decided, like, I really don't want to do homework anymore. So I stopped doing homework at most points. But they didn't really do anything to publish, punish me. Because they couldn't keep me after school for detention because I had to make the bus home. Because my mom couldn't get, my mom worked. And wouldn't be able to come get me till like, 6, 7. Um, so pretty much they just had me go sit in a class during lunch. I still got to eat my lunch in there, but it was, like, weird. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then after that year in public school, I went back to Catholic school, a different Catholic school, where I did make friends, but it's weird.
So this goes, hold on, at the bottom most one, so hold on. Open up. Yeah, so, yeah, there we go. I wasn't bullied, but I never really fit in anywhere during school. Yeah. I, I also was one of those guys that, like, thought, like, the people that were bullying me were, like, the cool kids. But after, like, sometime in sixth grade, I just started getting fed up with it. And just didn't try to associate with them anymore. Um, I had some friends. But, uh, I remember, like, back in, like, I think it was third grade. One, one of the kids, his name was, I think it was Kyle. Like, the, he said, it's like, dude... Like, dude, I'll fight you. I bet I could beat you in a fight. It's like, how about this? We'll have, like, a fight, and people can sign up to be, like, on whose side. So, like, if you go down, somebody will go in and fight for you. And it's like, he's like, oh, yeah, I had a bunch of people on my side ready to fight you. And dude, dude was, like, half a foot shorter than me. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta blow my nose again. I don't know why, when I'm talking to you guys on here, I get, like, nasally stuffed up. Okay, better. Ugh. Uh, bu -bu -bu, where am I now? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay, so E2, 45. Okay, 42, 45. Okay. Please. At least one part of him is. It's always a Kyle. Yeah. Well, at, at the second Catholic school I went to, uh, there was the, there was this pair of what should we call identical twins, and they were just annoying as fuck. And because uh because in sixth grade we sat in alphabetical order, and literally um they. So they were literally right underneath me in the alphabetical order. They were their their last names were B, uh, and mine started with an A. Yeah, slightly doxing myself, but um, but they 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 even though they were like low on like the like the social totem pole, they still like were just annoying as fuck, and they made part of my life hell. I actually ended up going to high school with them too. We went to the same high school. But I never got to see him a lot, and it was just a completely different thing. Because I think I've told you guys, I went to an all-guys high school. So, it was just like, I don't know. And then at some point, I just sort of, like, developed a, I guess, a backbone. And I just stopped taking shit. Um, like, liter like, literally, when people would, like, make jokes about me, I would literally laugh at their own jokes and then ask them for new material because I've heard that one way too much. And nothing stops somebody trying to be an asshole to you, like, saying, like, look, I've heard that. Can you come up with something new? You'd literally just watch their thought process just grind to a halt. I relish that. Also, there was this one guy who I literally, he was, like, he was, like, almost legit. Like, he was ha half a foot shorter than me, but he had this huge mouth. He kept making jokes. So at one point, I literally, while I'm, we're walking to a new class, and I know we're in an area where I'm not going to be seen by teachers or by cameras, I literally spun around and I grabbed them by the throat. And I'm like, your jokes are going to stop. And he never did anymore for the rest of the year. And then he transferred out. <laughs> Get your insults from somewhere other than Xbox? Yeah. You say that, but this is right before the Xbox 360. Well, no, this is right at the dawn of the Xbox 360. <laughs> like, Halo 2 was just a thing. Halo 3 had, hadn't even come out yet.
Three and uh, where's four? But yeah, other than a few things, my high school life was mostly peaceful. I got into trouble once for something. I'm not gonna go over that. All right, time to put some legs on this guy. How did the hell did these get on? So, one. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. Um, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Ah, fuck. Well, that piece popped off. It could pop back up. Came off, it could go back on. I swear to you, you were just on here a second ago, damn it. But then, what you, uh, as I was about to say, if we're going to keep doing life story, life story time, uh, my first year of college went absolutely garbage. <laughs> I had some fun moments. I had some good times. I had a lot more low times. <sighs> Sorry, I have to stretch out. My freaking biceps are like screaming at me. Not even like the biceps, it's like the part that's like right at the, like right before the joint of like your elbow. It's like that part of the muscle that hurts the most. <laughs> Need a drink. Ugh. Okay, what part's next? E240. Uh, this, yeah, that one. I don't know why that's like that one piece is just thicker. College was where I felt like I wasn't gonna make it. I just, I made some wrong decisions, and if you've ever, like, this is a very ADHD thing, but it's, we've, a lot of, it's like, I've, I've, I've like, come to notice a lot of ADHD things that I really should have looked into more over the years, but, um, it's, sometimes we, we, it, we find it so hard to ask for help. Like, I found it so hard to ask for help for a lot of ADHD things, because I just felt like I should be able to do this, so I'm going to try and do this, and then when I go and ask for help, Instead of just saying, hey, I need help with this, I go, hey, I need help with this. Here's all the things I've tried that haven't worked out, and I need you to kind of help me reverse engineer what's going wrong so I can get it right. So instead of a simple question, you now turn it into like a multi like a huge branching path. I remember reading, I remember reading that, or seeing that as like a thing on TikTok, and I go, fuck. Don't you just hate that when you sometimes on TikTok and you're like, oh man, all these nice feel videos, and then something that just spikes you to your core, because like, shit, that me.
I also made a mistake where I went to college for the, my first year. I, I picked it based more out of like closeness instead of like where I, I really should have pushed more for places that seemed like they were gonna do more for me and like actually gave me scholarships. So I picked the place that didn't because it was closer and it was like at the time like I had to make a choice on so like the easiest choice. It wasn't the right decision. If I can go if I could go back, that's one thing I definitely would change. Okay, so 19, so these. I just gonna know that was coming so easily to my peers they didn't study they just partied and stuck up these days yeah somehow that somehow people just managed to work like that i wish yeah it's like again at times you just wish you could have gotten it like that you wish it could have came that naturally to you, but it didn't i i hated one thing i hated about college is that there's so much information that you need to know but they don't explain it well to you at all. Like, withdrawing from class- Like, they don't explain- Like, they don't really explain withdrawing from classes well at all. You have to, like, fucking find that shit deep in the fucking archives of some eldritch horror knowledge. It sucks. Um, okay, now it's separate now. Okay, uh, H. So this is blacks. This is all black pieces. Okay. They're over here. Okay, 18, 19, and 17 from both sides. 17, 18, 19. Got it. Like for like for me, it's like I've realized this a long time. It's like for someone who was so used to having such, like, a more regimented schedule and being able to handle it, I was absolutely not ready for college to basically be like, your life is as you do, you're paying us, but you have to make the decisions and do all this stuff. We're not gonna, if you need help, we're not gonna come towards you at all. You have to seek us out at every and any opportunity. And it was shitty. Like, many of today's colleges do not do well with helping people that rely on, like, sched that have had schedules done for them forever. They, they, I, and at some point, they don't care. Fail them so they pay us more. Yeah, that too. Get off the fucking thing. I know I cut you, son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's all that. And that's about these two. Okay.
<sighs> I don't know. College is a little bit of a sore subject for me still. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, I don't know. Somebody give us a to somebody give us another topic to talk about. I want to talk about something happy. And it's not like I come with like a freaking topic list of things to talk about while I'm doing this. I just kind of go with the flow. Oh, sorry, that wasn't on screen. I need to have I need to have like an alert for that for you guys to just shout at me. Uh, some big anime event in Japan is happening soon. My favorite show, ReZero, is getting an hour long. God. I'll, I'll be honest. I never watched any of ReZero. I don't know why. Something about it just up didn't appeal to me. I think it might have... Uh, honestly? <laughs> okay, I think I know why. Because I think, I think I first heard of it, like, part of the way through its, like, thing. And I remember the one, like, first clip I saw from it that wasn't, like, the main character dying, like, over and over again in, like, the first couple episodes... It was, I think, the one where it's either Rem or her sister gets, like, tortured and, like, their body, like, mangled to death. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. No, thank you. Pass. <laughs> like, like, I'm sorry, pass. <laughs> like, there are very few talk about spoilers. The show's like, hold on. Da, 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 uh... Hold on. Uh, da, 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 first series three. Nope. Uh, second season. It's been four years. We're past spoiler date. Well, you spoiled yourself. I mean, blame YouTube algorithm. <laughs> blame the YouTube algorithm. But there, there's, there, there's just sometimes, yeah, fuck that algorithm, yeah. It hasn't made me a millionaire yet, fuck that algorithm. <laughs> <sighs> um, but yeah, there's just some things that like an anime, like I can't watch too much like bodily horror stuff. Because, not because it's bad or I dislike it, that's in quotes quotes dislike but because i feel like sometimes in like japanese animations they do it too well too well that it like hits on like some kind of deep seated party that's just like nope i'm out <sighs> like you know what i mean i know that i know that may sound weird but that's how I feel about it sometimes. Like, I, because I can watch horror movies and shit like that. But there's a part where if you do it too well, it doesn't matter how much I appreciate the craft. Like, part of me is still going to be like, no. Uh, 